Florence's English cemetery in Piazzale Donatello is home to a series of unlikely but overlapping stories, including many about slavery abolitionists. The English cemetery of Florence, although actually owned by the Swiss Reformed Church, is so named for its large segment of Anglo writers and prominent personalities who are buried here. Among them are many opponents of slavery who advocated for its abolition in their writings or worked actively against it. Although he is not buried here, the escaped American slave and prominent abolitionist Frederick Douglass was said to have visited this cemetery on several different occasions, most notably on May 11, 1887, when he came specifically to pay respect to abolitionist activists including author Richard Hildreth, the great American preacher Theodore Parker, and the beloved English poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning. A plaque soon to be installed will commemorate this visit. The cemetery's resident tenant and self-described urban hermit, Julia Bolton Holloway, is generally available to host special abolitionist-themed tours through the cemetery, like the one you see happening here. In speaking with Justin Randolph Thompson, an LDM professor and the coordinator of Black History Month Florence, a cultural association which teamed up with Holloway for events and tours in the cemetery, we learned more about the abolitionist legacy of the space and the similar work that Holloway is doing today to combat injustice. So Frederick Douglass came to Florence as part of a European tour uh, that he was making um, and he was writing about his tour as he was doing it and when he came to Florence he came specifically to the English cemetery to visit the sites of abolitionist writers that were influential to his way of thinking and writing um, to honor them in this space. Um, beyond that he also made a trip to Egypt uh, that he wrote about in relation to the ways in which the Jews freed themselves from the uh, from a slavery in Egypt and he wanted to sort of make a connection between that and all the other forms of slavery that were happening uh, worldwide. 